If it bleeds, we can kill it. Grab your makeshift spear or throwing axe because we're going into battle. It's Predator versus Prey on Movie Feuds. Predator has a very, what's that Dutch? You have something to say to the viewer? Subscribe. Wow, that's really classy of you. Thanks, man. What a stand-up guy. He's right, though. You should subscribe to the channel. Adam does movies right here, so you don't miss a single movie feud, review, rant, or anything movie-related in the future. You son of a bitch. If locker rooms could talk, 1987's Predator would be its voice. I don't even know what that means, and I wrote it. We got enough manly meat in this film to fire up a sausage fest. Two ex-governors join the fight with Jesse, I Ain't Got Time to Bleed Ventura, and Arnold, Get to the Chopper, Schwarzenegger. This film also features Apollo Creed, Bill, Anytime, Duke, and even the writer slash director of the shittiest Predator movie, Shane Black is here. To be clear, he did The Predator, not to be confused with this movie, Predator, or the third film, Predators. Hollywood naming's fun. Prey stars Amber Midthunder as Katniss Everdeen. I mean, Kate Bishop. I mean, Lara Croft. I mean, Naru. She has a brother, and random tribes people come and go. That's it. That's the cast. What the film lacks in humans? It quadruples in CG animals. Rabbits, snakes, lions, bears. This is borderline a Jungle Book sequel. It's the alien we're really interested in though, right? Obviously the first film has one badass ugly motherfucker to deal with, but the prequel alien? That thing is hideous. His voice modulation is MIA, and the targeting equipment? Shoddy at best. The dude still treats himself to a good skin peel though. That's like their thing, I guess. So round one, easy win for Predator. Let's see how it fares though, in the story department. Hey Dutch, what should the viewers do now? Stick around. Fantastic. Both films feature a single predator as he roughly lands on Earth to do a solo round of Fortnite. No build mode. Kids still play Fortnite? Is that, is that in touch? Okay, good. In the original, he has to take on a team of commandos. He wisely and meticulously picks them off one at a time. In Prey though, this guy starts with the small game and works his way up to the main event. Sure, the bear may hit hard, but it's not thinking through things like the human can. These are very simple stories that get right into the good stuff. Dutch and his team are misled into thinking they're on a rescue mission, but soon they realize they are the ones that need rescuing. Yeah, see so how kind of flip the table on them. In Prey, it's the opposite. The young female Comanche woman yearns to be a hunter like the men. She wants to hunt a hunter as her brother puts it. Fortunately for her, top game comes along. What's so clever about this premise is not even the predator thinks she's worthy of his time, often passing her up for something more challenging. She has to prove herself by using his tactics and technology against him. And Dutch comes to that same conclusion. His muscles and machinery won't save him this time. That's made crystal clear when his entire team is eviscerated in front of him. So he has to create his own camouflage and put the alien on the defensive. Some will, and some have already, looked at Prey as just another Hollywood rehash. I myself didn't see that. I found it to be a very compelling story about a woman struggling to find her own in a tribe. She was outmatched and outgunned at every turn and could have easily been killed if the Predator had the slightest interest in doing so. It's not until the final confrontation that the Predator realizes, oh shucks, I shouldn't have ignored her. Predators don't swear. That said, Predator set the stage. It put the manliest bros in an unwinnable situation and flipped the script on the action genre by doing so. Dutch is iconic as hell. And the final act of the film, absolutely flawless in my eyes. Let's talk production. I'm not gonna lie to you, Predator, he's starting to show his age. Even the prettiest of us go south at some point. It's inevitable. The camouflage and futuristic tech is so creative and mostly practical that it still works well. I mean, praise the new bitch on the block. It's 2022, she looks great. It's actually a beautiful looking film. The cinematography is gorgeous and it really brings out those unnaturally large Aubrey Plaza 2.0 eyes. That was a lot. There was a lot there in that sentence. I don't even know if it worked. The poor CG creatures will definitely take you out of the film for a bit though. Stunning visuals aside, another thing that worked better for me in this one 
were the action scenes, the hand-to-hand, -hand, the axe throwing, everything was really cool. Don't get me wrong, I love watching the Contra-inspired dudes raining down a bullet storm into the trees, but the way the prequel Predator, or Prequador, if you will, handled all of the different action elements was very creative. Most of the action scenes in the first film are nothing more than a guy getting an arm blown off or a shot through the chest, or it's done off camera. I mean, don't even get me started on how they cut away from the most badass character in the film, carving his chest across with a knife, only to be unceremoniously killed off screen. Disgusting. Unfortunately, these slick action moments are not accompanied by the most inspired score. Predator's theme song is timeless. Prey has a score that's pretty but subdued in the background. It's there, but you don't really notice it that much. And since the prequel opted for so much more CG, the Predator itself doesn't look very realistic. And I know, it's an alien, it's not real, but there's a dude in a costume in the original. He's like moving parts of his body, repairing shit. It has a unique vibe that keeps it from falling into obscurity. And because of that, it remains the king. While I do think Prey is an awesome and worthy installment in the Predator series, this was a fight it was never gonna win. I know that. You know that. So why do the fight at all? By even having this debate, putting it on the same stage, I honor it in a sense. But who really cares what I think? I pulled my community at Adam Does Movies, which you should subscribe to. Dutch told you to. You should listen to him, or he will, he will hunt you down and kill you. No, that was too much. Uh, but they had uh, they had thoughts. Here are the results. As to be expected, Predator easily trounces prey, but I will say it did a hell of a lot better than the last movie feud I did, which was Thor Ragnarok versus Love and Thunder. Ragnarok just just absolutely destroyed. Love and Thunder. Check that video out if you haven't. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like and comment if you had some fun. And remember, this is more than just reviews. This is Movie Feuds. Hey, are you in Fortnite, Dutch? Do you have a skin in that game? In, in Fortnite? Do you think YouTube will favor my video more if I keep saying Fortnite? Will the algorithm pick this up if, if Fortnite keeps getting uttered? I guess we'll find out. Fortnite. <laughs> Thanks again for watching the video. This channel, and especially Movie Feuds, take a lot of time to produce. Uh, I'm a one-man operation here, plus I have a full-time job and a family, so it's a lot of work. If you are a Patreon or YouTube Join member, thank you very much. If not, maybe think about joining me here or there, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, and becoming a member. You have a couple bucks a month, show your support, and you get access now to over 300 exclusive videos from my second channel, which is now private. It's only accessible to Patreons and YouTube Join members as a way of saying thank you.